hello babies welcome to my channel so if we get the power one we're going to hop right into it loves this is going to be what are people's guilty pleasures when it comes to you what are people's guilty pleasures when it comes to you we're going to hop right into this reading if this reading resonates with you please like comment down below subscribe hit the notification button let me know this topic interests in your life is reading also if you're interested in my patreon and personal readings that's down below in the description box let's hop right into this reading here okay so what are people's guilty pleasures when it comes to you here so if you wear glasses here for the ones that wear glasses here um people guilty pleasure of you is you look very beautiful with them off a lot of you guys here people can want to take your glasses off you're very attractive like like you look like a certain person with your glasses off but it's like two different perspectives almost like it's like ah ah it's like that like you know that's what i'm getting here so that's people guilty pleasure here um people can want to take your glasses off here people can also love um how nerdy you look here as well with your glasses on that's for some of you guys here um uh, other people guilty pleasures of you is you have a really really seductive voice love you guys you have a really nice voice here man or woman here people guilty pleasure is they like to prolong conversations with you to hear you speak to continue talking to you so if a conversation never ends with you and somebody then they turn around and start it again for some of you guys in most cases it's because they just really enjoy talking to you they really enjoy your time they really enjoy your company but they really enjoy your voice here very soothing voice you know very trans like you know very it's getting this siren energy here man or woman here so um this is people guilty pleasure about you here so some of you guys here uh, somebody guilty pleasure about you some of you guys here somebody that you rejected is upset that you rejected them and they don't know how to take rejection so they're kind of bitter here but this is somebody guilty pleasure is that they still like you like they're upset that you rejected them but they're upset because they can't have you but the six of wands here this is somebody this could be a leo here doesn't have to be uh this can definitely be a fire sign here but this is somebody that's used to get up attention from everybody and you did not pay the same um, um attention to someone some of you guys here, this can even be a situation where somebody's used to people um playing second to them like they're used to people um you know lowering their standards and stuff like that you know going against another person to get their attention a lot of you guys you rejected somebody you don't want to talk to somebody you did not give somebody the attention that they thought they're going to get that they receive from other people here and this is why somebody's upset here this person's upset because they don't have control over you like some of you guys here somebody could use other people it's almost like somebody could see two people that like them and they kind of exercise it here like they kind of like allow two people to fight over them or stuff like that because it's what excites this person makes them feel validated here it makes them feel wanted and you did not pay somebody the same attention and now they're hurt here so some of you guys here this is what i'm seeing here um so yeah i'm seeing the leo here sagittarius here i'm also seeing aries here as well as the king of wands here this is somebody where um they're used to people being loyal to them they're used to people kind of putting up on a pedestal or things like that so some of you guys here somebody that you rejected here um is upset here because they're used to getting the attention that they get from other people and they did not get this from you here um and yeah and they're used to people fighting for them and you did not fight for them and this is um why somebody here is um having some type of issue with you but this is somebody their guilty pleasure is that they still want you this person guilty pleasure is that they still want you there is better that they don't that they can't have you. i'm hearing you can look but you can't touch that's what i'm getting here so somebody feels they have to constrain themselves like oh my god like i can look but i can't touch Are you off limits it's like yeah that's what i'm getting here it's like dang so all right y'all so we're gonna move on here let's get into this reading here okay um so others of you here what are people guilty pleasures of you so some of you guys here um somebody guilty pleasure is for some of you guys is some of uh, us people don't do it like you here a lot of you guys here there is people that don't do it like you here we got the page of wands here as well let's see here we have the page of wands in reverse so we got the ten of swords here so some of you guys here it has something this is my guilty pleasure here for some of you guys here some of you guys this is not for all of y'all but some of you guys here there could be a, we got the tempers in reverse here some of you guys here somebody could somebody guilty pleasure they like to see you act out here the ten of swords here somebody could do certain stuff just to get a reaction out of you somebody could like say something to get under your skin with this, with this page of wands in reverse somebody likes when you get out of character here somebody likes this here so somebody um guilty pleasure is, is they like to see you get out of uh character here this is somebody here they like um to like talk to you in a certain type of way betray you this person likes to do certain things to get you on balance here just tempers in reverse here 
for this ace of swords here um this is somebody where they don't this is somebody where they um don't like when you think rational with this ace of swords and a temper term reverse here with the four of pentacles here as well um this can even be somebody here where um maybe them not maybe the this person can also hold back communication from you like maybe give you the silent treatment or things like that here but what i'm seeing here is there's a person that's doing certain stuff to get a reaction out of you on purpose this person can hold back from you give you silent treatment to make you get upset with them they can say certain stuff to get under your skin they can do certain stuff that they know you would not agree with and you will feel comfortable with somebody guilty pleasure is making you upset making you yell at them or making you get mad making you get angry so that's for some of y'all we have libra gemini aquarius here we got sagittarius we got gemini sagittarius here we got capricorn so this is gonna be any of them signs here we're gonna be moving on so some of you guys somebody guilty pleasure is if somebody has a hidden spam account somebody has like a uh a fake account that they get on they have like their main account that they get on and then they have like a backup account that they get on that nobody knows about or whatever or something like this here somebody watches you on some type of spam account this could be a leo here we got the seven of wands here in reverse here for some of you guys we got the six of pentacles here so some of you guys here this is a, it could be a tourist here so some of you guys whoever this person is they could feel like you switched on them for some of you guys here um this could some of you guys maybe you told this person that you're going to do something here and you ended up not doing it here for some some of you guys so you could have stopped giving to this person here the six of pentacles here like some of you guys this you you this person used to give to you you used to give to this person then you stopped giving to this person financially here just for some here um we also got the four swords here as well in reverse here some of you guys here this situation could have been stressing you out and you um letting go of that stress here you letting go of some of you guys, you could have laid that situation to rest and you're not, you're not worried about it anymore. So this is what I'm getting here. We have the two of wands here in reverse. Somebody feels restricted from coming towards you here. So some of you guys here, this is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a situation where somebody else did not, so it could even talk about somebody did not um, stick up for something. So some of you guys here, there could be a situation here where somebody did not um, show you emotion or whatever or, or something here, passion here. I'm just getting this. Somebody did not show you some type of emotion. And we gonna keep it like that because that's literally what I'm getting here. Yeah, so somebody did not show you some type of emotion here. They did not like stand up and show you how they feel about you here. And this is somebody that you could have been given to. They could have been given to you here. Um, you in the, you some of you guys you stopped giving to this person here because it was causing a lot of stress. Maybe somebody was not showing up the way that you was showing up here. And with the two of wands here, somebody could feel like they're restricted from coming towards you here. Yeah. So we got this is seven wands here. So that's what it is. Some of you guys here, somebody was restricted for coming towards you. They could be restricted from another person. Some of you guys here, I don't know. Um, I'm just getting a situation where somebody else can't come towards you here. Because they have ties somewhere else in some type of manner here. And this is somebody where they're supposed to, um, you know, show you fight for you or show that they care about you or whatever and this is money that you're giving to they didn't do this anymore i see y'all uh was stressing out over the situation i see i let that situation go here but the hangman in reverse here i do see what you know you, you every time you think of this person you have like negative thoughts about the situation here but the king of cups in reverse here some of you guys you can just be thinking about yourself now so that's what it is so this is why somebody um is uh watching you from a spam account for some of you guys this is somebody where it's like you're thinking about yourself now this is somebody where they had this is somebody where they could, could have had a decision to make and they ended up not making no decision so them not making a decision could have been a, a choice so that's what it could be y'all it could be a situation where somebody had a decision or a choice and them not making a choice is actually making a choice because with this two wands here somebody had a decision to go down a different path some of you guys somebody could have had a decision to date you or go down the path with you or whatever and they didn't hear somebody could have um you know didn't stand on it could even talk about somebody moving forward with you and not standing on that whatever it is somebody just they changed on you you know and this is somebody where they would change on you due to being stuck somewhere else here types is another situation here and you could have been given to this person some of you guys you stopped giving to this individual now they feel like you don't even care about them the person's like you're just moving forward y'all think about yourself here you know this is what i'm seeing here so this could be an aries here a pisces here um, we have Leo here, Taurus, Libra. So this is somebody guilty pleasure is that they watch you on hidden accounts here. You know, somebody keep up with you like the Kardashians. They watch you on a spam account here. What is this person looking for? We got the Eight of Cups. So this person trying to see if you are with somebody else. They're trying to see if you're with someone new. So this this is why so with the Six of Wands in reverse, you're not giving attention to this person. So they think you're giving attention to somebody else here. Uh, the Hermit card, this person is doing deep analyzes. Like some of y'all, when this person watch your page this is somebody that um 
when this person wants your page, this is somebody where they try not to like anything to let you know they've been on there. But this is somebody that's on your spam account. Some of y'all this person could even like your stuff as well or comment on yourself or like your stuff and they're on the whole like a random account. But with the hermit card here, this is somebody that's doing some deep searching that they're really like this person's looking for an answer. They're just, this person at this point this person's looking for uh, something wrong just to say like, Oh, I knew it, I knew it all along. They're looking it's like they're they're looking for to find something but they're hoping that they don't. That's what I'm getting here. So somebody's on your page trying to see, trying to find any hidden information that signal that you're talking to somebody that you move on. Some of you maybe you don't post like that or you don't post certain stuff. So this person may not know which, what's going on behind the scenes because of the way your account is set up or how you do things, how you post stuff. But we got Leo, Pisces, Virgo here. So we're going to be moving on from that. But um, that's what I'm seeing here. So that's somebody guilty pleasure. You know, they trying to, they, they, they don't, you don't know they, well, you know they're watching you now, but they think they're doing something. I'm hearing another one bites the dust, okay? Okay, some of you guys here, we got, um, so some of you guys here, somebody guilty pleasure is they love staring at you here. Somebody finds you very attractive here. Um, some of you guys here, this is somebody that, uh, we got the hangman here. See, somebody had a change of perspective. I knew what that, I just knew it. We got the two of wands in reverse. Let me tell you, this is somebody guilty pleasure. Some of you guys are hearing you would have messed with me way back then, but how about now? Because I'm up right now, and you suck right now. So some of you guys here, somebody that did not want to talk to y'all when y'all was broke, y'all didn't have money, that didn't want to talk to y'all, they guilty pleasures. They got a crush on y'all now. Others of you, some of you guys, somebody did not want to talk to you because maybe you're too skinny. Some of you guys, somebody felt like you maybe you was too big. Some of you, you end up having some type of glow up, losing weight, you know, stuff like that, getting yourself together. And with the hangman in reverse, somebody's looking at you different. They looking at you like, dang, like, pow, pow, one bad, like, dang, pow, one handsome. So a lot of you guys, somebody guilty pleasure here. This could be a Pisces or an Aries here. We got the two of wands reverse here. Some of you guys here, somebody was indecisive on whether they wanted to talk to you or not because of you not having money or be or somebody could have not um somebody like somebody else you could have wanted to talk to somebody like maybe you wanted to talk to to somebody and they were giving you any type of play or whatever whatever it is some of y'all didn't even make it that far i've just seen somebody that once was not paying attention to you once not giving you no attention is now looking at you like they ain't bad they ain't had a glow up. so some of y'all somebody guilty pleasure is that they low-key end up developing a crush on you they like y'all after kind of you know blowing y'all off some other person could have blew y'all off literally the two wands or whatever, like some of y'all, maybe this person didn't give you no. Some of y'all, the person didn't communicate with you like that. They didn't give you no time of day. So somebody that used to not communicate with y'all, talk to y'all, barely speak to y'all, whatever the case may be, this person has a crush on y'all now. That's the guilty pleasure. They have a crush on you now. You had a glow up. They looking at you. They like, damn, you look good. A lot of you guys, you are a ten, like a ten, like a BMS broke my scales. Y'all look bad, very handsome. And somebody's like, dang, like, somebody thought they missed out. Somebody thought they missed a little, like, dang, like, if I would have known power was going to look like this in a couple months or in a year, dang, it's like something, it's almost like you can't ignore it. It's like the elephant in the room here. With the Nine of Cups in reverse, some of y'all, if you did talk to this person, the person could have played you here because they thought they were better than you or they, they could find better than you. So I'm getting multiple scenarios. Some of y'all, this is somebody that never gave you the time of day for real. They never talked to you like that. Every time you talk to this person, it was like a brief conversation here. This person looking at you now, they see that you got your money up. Some of y'all, this person seeing that you had a glow up within your looks here, you look good. And somebody has some type of change of perspective here. And this is somebody where they once did not date you or whatever, or they did not want to date you for some of you guys. And they looking at you and they got a big crush on y'all now. Others of y'all here, this is a situation where this is somebody here where they was talking to you for some of you guys here, and this person was playing emotional games with you that weren't serious here. This person felt like they could have found better or found somebody that they felt feel like they like that they felt they can do better. That's what somebody felt like for some of y'all. And they looking at you like, dang, like power one was bad. Like I don't know what I was thinking. Like this is how I'm somebody feeling here. So this is for some of y'all. We got Aries, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, we're gonna move on here, okay? Okay, so some of you guys here, this is somebody guilty pleasure here. Some of y'all, somebody guilty pleasure is, is some of y'all, somebody takes your ideas here. A lot of you guys, you have a lot of cool ideas here. And another person trying to take your ideas to capitalize off of it. This is somebody guilty pleasure here. Um, with the four of cups here, reverse here as well. This is somebody here as well where they can have certain stuff that's going on in your life. But somebody does not have a motivation here. Somebody does not have an inspiration or a motivation here. Uh, somebody is not enjoying something here. Let me see here. Yeah, this is definitely a water sign. We got the King of Cups in reverse here. Somebody's looking out for themselves here. So somebody basically does not want to put the work in. Somebody basically just looking out for their best interest here. Let's see here. But um We got the chariot here. Somebody this could be a cancer here. We have the chariot here as well. Let's see. 
we, this could be a Capricorn. So we got Cancer, Pisces, and Capricorn here. At the bottom of that, we got Gemini here. So it could be any of them signs here. But some of you guys here, somebody, uh, guilty pleasure is they take ideas from you. Somebody's basically looking out for themselves. Somebody's basically trying to take some type of idea from you and capitalize off of it and look out for themselves. Somebody's basically trying to take your idea and move forward with it and be greedy. Like, this is what I'm seeing here. Like, somebody basically wants to take your idea make money off your idea and then they want to treat you like they never got your idea from you like this is what i'm getting especially with the nine of pentacles reverse this is somebody that's very greedy here this is somebody where they want some type of attention that you have or whatever it is somebody wants something that you got so somebody uh guilty pleasure is is that they don't have the motivation and skills set to take them far but you do you have really great innovative ideas here and this is somebody where they're secretly trying to take your ideas here they're trying to secretly take your ideas so they can capitalize off of it this is somebody here where they're trying to um get ahead and they're only looking out for themselves here and this is some and when this person do get ahead this person is going to be very um very um very materialistic here like i'm seeing somebody turn into a monster when they get some type of financial success here like somebody's going to have such a i'm getting like a nini leaf like somebody's going to have like this nini leaf attitude start smelling themselves this is what somebody is going to do here if that but this somebody's trying to take your ideas and capitalize off of it so this is what i'm seeing here y'all okay we're going to move on from this what are people guilty pleasures from my pal um one this is going to resonate for some of you guys it's literally going to resonate for a few of you guys if this is not you it don't resonate but if this is you you know this is you this is for you here some of you guys here there's a person that come back to you when things don't work out with other people people and their guilty pleasure is is coming back to you somebody does not seriously want to be in something with you long term here and i know it's harsh to say but you're not keeping blown in this channel somebody comes back to you because you will accept them back here i've seen somebody coming back because something didn't work out with somebody else that they wanted it to if that situation would have worked out with another person they would have not even came back to you but this king of cups to reverse somebody's emotionally manipulated and somebody's only doing looking out for themselves somebody don't necessarily care about your emotions but there's nine of cups here in reverse this is somebody where they're playing emotional mind games with you as well playing games with you only looking out for themselves the ten of wands this person's causing you a lot of stress a lot of burden here but the nine of pentacles some of you guys you are still invested in this person so you give to this person and they just looking out for themselves but this king of wands here this is somebody where they feel like you should do for them it should be a privilege to do something for them here Somebody plays games with you as well because they think that they can outsmart you. Uh, this is somebody where they feel they're, they're, that they're in charge here of other people as well. We got the Six of Pentacles. This is somebody that's stressing you out because they don't give the way that you give. Like, you stressing out because this person just, no matter how much you give to this person, they still don't show up and give to you here. The Queen of Swords in reverse, people could even be gossiping about this as well. Um, So, this is what I'm seeing here. Y'all got a person that's basically keep coming in and out of your life because they know that they can and y'all need to put your foot down with this individual here. We got earth sign energy. We got air sign, uh, fire sign here. So, um, peace over my Until next time, bye. Hello, babies. Welcome to my channel. So, if we get the power to, we're going to hop right into it, lovely. This is going to be, what are people's guilty pleasures when it comes to you? If this topic resonates with you and you like it, please like, comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss out when I post. Also, if you're interested in my Patreon and personal readings, that's down below in the description box. So, what are people guilty pleasures when it comes to you? So, people are guilty pleasures when it comes to you, my pal, too. Is a lot of you guys here. People guilty pleasures that you have really great posture. People stare at you when you sit down, men or women. People stare at you when you stand here. Some of you guys here, when you sit down, your thighs kind of spread. People like that. That's their guilty pleasure. Some of you guys here, um, I'm seeing some of you guys, like, especially if you're a woman, when you sit down, you kind of got, like, that heart shape. Like, your, like, your body forms, like, that heart shape. Like, people find you to be very attractive for a lot of you guys here. Um, your manner is, like, some of you guys will get a somebody could cross their legs. Like, you just have really beautiful legs. Very feminine energy for some of you guys here. And that's very uh, pleasurable to other people. That's their guilty pleasure of you here. Um, this can be a Pisces here um, that feel like this here. Um, but this is somebody that's this is somebody's guilty pleasure here. A lot of you guys say a lot of people could daydream about you, um, even fantasize about you as well. Like a lot of you guys here, you are very seductive. I'm kind of getting like a Betty Boop, or I'm getting like a Marilyn Monroe, um, a Betty Boop or something. Um, I'm getting like a Naomi Campbell as well. A lot of you guys, you have like a very attractive walk here. Your, your hips sway naturally here. 
Um, if you're a masculine, when you walk here, you have like, you know, broad shoulders here, you know, you somebody where you have like a very assertive walk to you here, very attractive to people. So this is people's guilty pleasures when it comes to you. People guilty pleasure for some of you guys here, a little bit like pile one, but a lot of you guys here, people, um, could really love how smart you are. Like a lot of you guys here, I'm here, um, my, my F, so some of you guys here, people could just kind of get like, intertwined and liking you just off of what you say here like a lot of you guys here what you say um gets people intertwined and gets people engaged so people guilty pleasure is really um you stimulating their mind like you stimulate people's mind especially people, especially people that are like sapio like you make the one engage with you you make the one have a conversation with you like you really stimulate them you really get them going here um people guilty pleasures you know how to get them going with just words like people could not be used to liking people or maybe they're used to being attracted to people's appearance off rip but there's something about you where not only is your appearance but it's the way that you stimulate others minds so this is um you know people's guilty pleasures when it comes to you this is what i'm getting here um okay so some of you guys say somebody guilty pleasure is is that somebody's looking at you and somebody feel like they miss out on an opportunity here um, some of you guys here, somebody can't help but to bask in the idea for being with you. The nine of swords reverse could be Aquarius here, but somebody had a chance with you and they missed out on the opportunity. Some of you guys here, somebody's evaluating the situation and realize that they missed out on some type of opportunity to be with you here. Somebody is evaluating the situation here. What does nine of wands in reverse? This is somebody where they could have made promises to you and they did not deliver. It definitely could have been somebody that was a player here, but this could have just been somebody that was very inconsistent with their emotion. One minute this person being very passionate, next minute they're being very cold or being very um far away here with the world card in reverse this is somebody where they're disappointed how things turned out here with the ace of swords here this is somebody that's disappointed that you're no longer communicating with them and the three of swords here their heart broken so this is somebody guilty pleasure somebody guilty pleasure is they are still thinking about you they're evaluating this type of situation somebody's looking at something from a different bird's eye view they're looking at things from a different perspective and this person knows that they were in and out they know they were consi inconsistent with you here so somebody guilty pleasure is is that they can't stop thinking about you you know this person really Realizing that they got emotions for you, they realize that where they went wrong, somebody's feelings is hurt, somebody's hurt that you're no longer talking here, somebody's hurt that you're too disconnected or whatever here. And when the night of wandering bird, this is somebody where they this person's even upset at themselves because they know they weren't consistent, they know they was playing games or be in and out, and they is what caused this connection to disconnect. They caused this imbalance and this connection, and now this person is um disappointed. They disappointed because they are the reason why something turned out the way it did. This could be a Libra, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Sagittarius here at the bottom of the deck. We have Leo. So it could be any of this here uh, in Aquarius. So it could be any of them signs here, okay? So this is my guilty pleasure. You are in your mind. I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing, it's alone on your mind. It's alone. You can reach me. I'm here. Um, what's that song? I'm getting a song that's coming through. It's my jam, but I can't think of the lyrics right now for whatever reason. Um what's the song they ain't like i'm trying to force the song girl like what's the song like i'm asking y'all like y'all know um i know y'all gonna know what i said but you know what i mean okay the song i'm getting i'm here um yeah i'm here and make you feel my love uh hold on, let, let me think y'all let me think hold on okay we're about to move on like literally like 10 seconds I'm hearing you can, you can, you, uh, okay, we're going to move on because I'm about to mess this lady lyrics up. Okay, y'all, so some of y'all, that's, we're going to move on for now. Okay, so um, we have a couple here for some of you guys here. So there could be a couple that has a guilty pleasure about you here. We got the five of wands here, reverse here. So some of you guys here, this is what I'm seeing here. This is type of situation where somebody wants to compromise, somebody wants to reach an agreement here. So some of you guys here, there is a couple here that wants to uh, um, negotiate with you or agreeing with something here. We got the Nine of Cups here. This talks about wish fulfillment here. Um, so some of you guys, there could be a couple that wants you in their bedroom. And this came out in another one of my other readings. This could be a Leo or a Pisces here. Um, or this could be a Leo Pisces couple or whatever the case may be. But somebody guilty pleasure is there is a couple that um, wants you in their bedroom. Now with this Five of Wands here. And reverse, I'm seeing a situation where somebody wants to negotiate with you, but I'm seeing a situation where one person doesn't and another person does. So there could be a situation where there's one person that wants to sleep with you and they're in a relationship with another person and they are having some type of conflicts 
with each other and another person's agreeing with it. So if that's something that pops up for some of you guys, just know that there's a person that does not want to do it. They're just kind of agreeing because they don't want to keep having a conflict with their partner here. And with this nine of cups here, they know this is going to fulfill their partner's wishes. So some of y'all, there's a couple that went to in the bedroom. One person is not really agreeing with it for real, but they're going to be on board to end the conflict with their partner and they viewing this as going to make them happy and that's what they're trying to do here so this is what i'm seeing here i'm seeing a situation like that here uh we got the six of cups here so some of you guys this is somebody that you know from your past for some of you guys that you don't talk to this person anymore for some of you guys it's been some time others of you here this is somebody that could have grew up with you for some of you guys so this could be somebody where it's like a friend this could be a friend that grew up with y'all and they're in a relationship for some of you guys and maybe their partner wants you in a bedroom for some of y'all that's for some like because the six of cups in reverse here this is somebody that y'all could have known for some years for some of you guys here others of you this is like where you could have known from your community here or some of y'all you could have newly met this person so but i'm i'm honestly getting um some of y'all this can even be like a um a sibling's friend as well let's like, say you have a sibling they have a friend as in relationship that's just for some but i'm getting a uh a friend significant other or a sibling's friend and they have a significant other but i'm getting something here y'all know this person from your past here you already know who this individual is for some of you guys we got pisces um scorpio leo here so you already know who this person is here we got the queen of swords in reverse here at the aquarius here so it could be aquarius here but the five of wands here as well somebody is um somebody uh could want to um reach this type of agreement here but they could be fearful of gossip as well just, this is somebody where they don't want you to gossip here as well um so this is what i'm seeing here but i see a couple want y'all in the bedroom here and one person really not cool with it but they're going to be on board so that's for some of y'all here um these are the signs i'm seeing here that's somebody's guilty pleasure here we're going to be moving on here so some of you guys here let's see what this is about here what's somebody's guilty pleasure we got the star card in reverse here so some of you guys here somebody guilty pleasure is and some of you guys you could be somebody where you did not could be very shy you could be very timid but the star card here as well somebody could have um um I'm, let me see here before i read it that way because i don't want to read it that way if it's not that way let me get one more card to clarify we got the four of wands here We got the four swords here. So some of y'all, this is somebody guilty pleasure. This is for some of y'all. Some of you guys here, somebody guilty pleasures, they thought that you would never get married. Or they thought they was kind of lose a hold. Like, oh my God, they're not going to get married or something like this here. Or they're not going to continue the bloodline and got dead. So somebody guilty pleasure is they wanted that to happen. They wanted you or somebody to, you know, continue something on. That's for some of so This could be like a parent here for some of you guys or some type of guardian here. That's just for some. But the four swords in reverse here for some of you guys here. Somebody guilty pleasure. Some of you guys here, you could have been in a relationship with someone and a relationship ended up not working out and some of you guys here you could um be you know getting back out there or whatever and somebody guilty pleasures that they're happy that you're back on the market you know um with the devil card here this is somebody that's obsessed with you here with the six of pentacles here this is somebody where, where, where i can do generous things for you they help you out here but, but but with the two of wands in reverse here somebody you were restricted so yeah so some of y'all somebody guilty pleasure is, is that y'all was in a, if y'all was in a relationship with someone and y'all broke up just know that another person been waiting for y'all to break up with them they've been obsessed with you they've been having their eyes on you this is somebody where they helped you out or did something for you in the past whether they were small or not this is somebody where they are giving to you so if you need this person help or you need this person advice or anything like that they'll be very receptive to you here but the two of wands in reverse here this person could have moved forward with you or even try to move forward with you because you were stuck with something going on in your past past here um so yeah and with the nine of pentacles here as well um this person knows that um getting into a situation with you would be messy so a person that know you was in a relationship with someone they see you break up with someone they see you're not healing things they see you getting you popping back out this person has been obsessed with you or already have been kind of like you know addicted to you already you know they already kind of you know how to obsess them with you this person has helped you out or just been very generous so you just been nice you know it could be just simple simple when this person did not get into it with you before or try to try to go after you or date you it's because they knew it would be very shady or whatever but now somebody wants to be with you here so some of y'all um, some of y'all can even be vice versa some of y'all this could have been somebody that's, that was in a relationship or they're out of a relationship but somebody guilty pleasure that they could have wanted you but they was already in a relationship or this is somebody where you are in a relationship and you're out now and they've been waiting for this so this could be an aries here we got virgo we got taurus we got capricorn libra aries aquarius here so it could be any of them signs here okay so this is somebody guilty pleasure about you we're going to be moving on here 
Okay, so we got upgrade here. We have upgrade, upgrade, up, 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 upgrade, upgrade. Okay, I don't know why I said that like that. Um, we got the seven of wands here in reverse. Um, we got the ten of pentacles here as well in the upright here. Um, let's see here. We got the ace of cups here in reverse here. Um, so some of this is a couple people. This is going to resonate for literally a few people. Some of you guys are somebody guilty pleasure. Some of y'all, you got a divorce with somebody. Some of you guys, somebody guilty pleasures that they took some type of home. Like if you have to split something, you got a divorce with someone. Somebody guilty pleasures that they wanted something. But some of you guys, you end up upgrading or whatever. So like say for instance, you have to give like say you was in a, a getting a divorce with someone and, and they got the home. And they got like a two bedroom. Now you got like a four or five bedroom home now, you know. So that's what I'm getting. Somebody guilty pleasure was taking something from you that you worked hard for for some of you guys. Um, and maybe you do not have a prenup with someone for the ones where this resonate with. They took something, but some of you guys, you end up replacing something 10 times. It's almost like somebody took something to try to, like, uh, punish you or thinking that it was going to punish you. And really, in reality, you end up getting something way more better. So that's for some of you guys here. Some of you guys are somebody guilty pleasure is. Some of you guys are somebody um, turned on y'all. But the Ten of Pentacles, somebody thought that you didn't have some type of solid foundation. Like, somebody, somebody basically switched on you because they thought that you weren't... Um, you weren't valuable like somebody thought oh i can't get nothing out of those so somebody basically somebody basically couldn't benefit from y'all so they thought that you weren't valuable here and the ace of cups in reverse here somebody um could have broke your heart or whatever and the temper here some of y'all you end up getting a balance you end up getting on your feet but the three of cups here now you're celebrating here with the seven of cups you have so many options here as well and with this emperor in reverse somebody lost control over you so some of y'all here that's somebody guilty pleasure here um Somebody thought that they were doing something. So whether this is a divorce or not, again, I read it both ways. Some of y'all, this is a divorce. Somebody um took something, or some of y'all, this is not a divorce. This could be like a let's say somebody put a car in your in your um in, in your name and they took the car back. It could be anything, but I'm just seeing something where somebody thought taking something from you was going to punish you, and you end up getting something way much more. That was their guilty pleasure. But I see y'all have something much more. So that's what I'm seeing here. Others of you here, there is an individual where um they switched on you because they thought that you were less than they could have seen people having more than you or seen people having way more than you at a certain point in time and they looked at you as less than and this is somebody here where they're sad here because a lot of you guys here you're doing better now a lot of you guys you have upgraded now you're celebrating your money is right you know things are stable in your life you have more options here and this person does not even have any more control over you we have the hiding from here right after that some of you guys here as well look at that we got the hiding from here in their emperor so some of you guys said, yeah, some of y'all just could have been a divorce. Like I said, I'm, for some of y'all, so this is somebody guilty pleasure of y'all here. Let's move on here. So some of you guys, uh, we have Mr. Take Your Girl or Guy, Oracle Carl out here. So some of you guys here, somebody guilty pleasure is there in a relationship with somebody, but they want you to have them. It could be the other person I was telling you about earlier. We got the devil card here. Somebody's obsessed with you. So somebody's in another relationship with another person, but they're obsessed um, with you. Some of you guys, you could be in a relationship with somebody guilty pleasures. They want to take you from another person here. We got that um, high priestess in reverse. So this is a secret here. So some of you guys, somebody's secret is that they're obsessed with you. Somebody has a secret obsession with you. This person guilty pleasure, they could want to take you away from your partner. Or this person kind of, they're with somebody here. And they kind of want to get intertwined with you here. With the page of pinnacles here, this is somebody here where they could want to um give to you here. They want to, um you know, talk to you here. Maybe take you out to dinner here or something like this here. We got the five of wands here in reverse here. So this person want to make some type of negotiation. They want to compromise here. This person can even want to like buy you something or spoil you. So yeah, some of you guys say this is what I'm seeing here. We got the temperance here. So I'm, I'm going to read it both ways. So some of y'all, this is somebody where they, you're in a relationship and they basically obsessed with you and they've been keeping this a secret here. This person can want to invest in you, you know, give you some type of money, pay some of your bills here or whatever. This person wants to do certain things for you to have you, you know. Um, but the five of wands here as well, this is somebody where they want to negotiate, you know, they want to, um, have you, you know, and, but y'all with someone, others of you, this is somebody where they're with someone and they're obsessed with you secretly here. And this is somebody where they want to spoil you. They want to spend money on you. And they kind of want y'all to kind of make some type of negotiation. So I'm getting like a sugar mom, sugar dad vibe for some of y'all. I don't have to be, but that's what I'm getting here. You got the two of wands in reverse. Somebody's re with the tempers here. Somebody wants you to still give to them, but they're restricted from completely fully being with you here. So this is what I'm seeing here. Like somebody can't be with you fully because they're with another person for some. And they want to give to you. They want to spend money on you and stuff like that. So kind of like you be their side, but they spend money on you and things like that. And 
all of that and they have you for your time that's my guilty pleasure we got sagittarius capricorn leo aries virgo here sagittarius here so this is people guilty pleasure when it comes to you my pal too if this reading resonates with you like this reading please hit the like button comment down below subscribe hit that notification button next time bye